And welcome back everyone. Our next guest combines her medical training in pharmacy with holistic fitness and wellness. And joining us today is Dr. Robin B to show us her favorite workouts and also share some nutritional tips. The nutrition is key too. It is. Right? It's key. Okay, so let's talk about this. You're a pharmacist by trade. Yes. So why not just stay in that world? Why switch over here to the fitness world as well? Wow, great question. Mm -hmm. So it's really simple. When I noticed during the pandemic, especially that there needed to be a change, mm -hmm. right? Everyone was uncertain about what was good for their bodies and what wasn't. So what I thought about was how do we be preventative to prevent mm -hmm. you from having to see me as the pharmacist, oh, good right? Point. What can we do preventatively right now? And that starts with diet, nutrition, and fitness. So physical fitness has always been easy mm -hmm. to, you know, reverse some disease states, get active and feel the, you know, the calories just shed off and also look good. So I just thought, why not preach that and encourage that? And how are you doing that with your fitness background in terms of your medical background as a combo too? Because a yes. lot of people are popping pills. I know, I know. To lose weight specifically, no. like the diabetes yes. drug and everything. Exactly. So there's a lot of agents out there that actually help with and assist with weight loss. But what I think is really important is to just try first to do it yourself, right? And see how much progress you can make. So for me, it was, I'm in a pharmacy, right? And I only have my community to serve. But what if I went on a bigger platform like social yeah. media and shared these messages and told them, hey, if you are taking these medications, these are workouts you can do and vice versa. So yes. I wanna combine the two because they're not as different as they seem, but we just have to have someone that speaks out about it. And so I did that. And you're doing it on Ladder, which is an app. Yes. Tell us about that. Wow, guys, Ladder, I've done a lot of apps. I don't know if anyone at home has tried a lot of fitness apps and they haven't worked in the past. This is different. It's a strength and conditioning app. And what it does is it actually gives you a workout plan each week so not workouts but a plan you don't have oh. to think oh, wow. you just go in there I program every week I do in-ear voiceovers I show you video demonstrations like I'll be showing you today um, and then it's just so fun because we have a community that's the best part so like there'll be like bodybuilders moms people you know gym goers all in one chat sharing advice and tips and wellness and we're going to talk about, we see you with weights there, but in yeah. just a second you're going to show us some things that you can do without yes. weights because not everyone can get to the gym. Uh, what about nutrition? What are some quick tips on that? Yeah, yeah. so movement is medicine, right? But your, your physical fitness is made in the kitchen. So what I like to do is make sure that I prioritize protein and mm. unsaturated fats, right? So that's your avocado, your olive oils, and things like that. Yeah. And then fiber as well because we want a good, healthy gut. Yes. Um, and so protein, at least 30 grams per meal. Mm -hmm. But then it also depends on body weight, but I teach you more about that in the app. Yeah. Um, also, throw in a little greens into that breakfast. We always think like pancakes, bacon, and eggs. <laughs> Why don't you throw some spinach in there, right, and get yes. some color in your diet? Um, also, I would say to not drink your calories. A lot of us have Diet Cokes and orange juice, like just drink water mm -hmm. and then eat your calories, right? Oh, interesting. Yeah. I haven't heard that tip before, yeah. especially with orange juice. Oh, I love yeah. it. But and especially when they, <laughs> it's topped into a mimosa. Ooh. That's a problem. Oh. All right, let's talk about some moves for the workout. Yeah, let's talk yeah, about so it. This is this, if you're at home, if you're at work, yes. don't have capacity, but you're just keeping it under 15 minutes. Exactly. Even if you don't have a mat, guys, the ones that I'm going to teach you today, you don't need anything but okay. body weight and maybe some water bottles. So I have Gatorade right here because the mm -hmm. color is so great. Yeah. Um, so the first one I'm gonna do is like game changing. It really activates your entire lower body. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I spread my legs uh, wider than shoulder width apart. I go into a squat here and then I just do side steps. So this can be dumbbells or this can be actual just water bottles, yeah. right? And even without anything, just see how hard this is. Yeah, it, it, it seems like, oh yeah, whatever, but yeah. after about 30 seconds, it burns. It burns, burns your entire posterior Okay, and chain. then what else? Yeah, so another one I like to do is, so my, my approach is uh, compound movements, getting okay. more than one muscle group at a time. So this one I like to do is I put my arms above my head and I activate my shoulder braids and, and lats mm -hmm. and I go into a lunge at the same time. Oh, so when okay. I go down, I squeeze my shoulder blades and then I come back up. So just like that. Mm -hmm. And you can do that without as well. Yep, on a on a break even at lunch, yeah. you know, for work. This and then what really else? Effective. We got about 20 seconds. All right, all right. <laughs> Last but not least, I love this one. So bicep curl to front squat. Okay. So go like this, and then you're going to just Ooh, go down into that that's a good one. Yeah, so you're getting your biceps in. And don't forget the basics, right? We yeah. want to keep our knees in line with our toes. Mm -hmm. And we want to get down. Wow, yeah. that's great. And is speed an issue there? like? moving slowly yes. or intentional? So, okay, so I'm team formation on the ladder app. Mm -hmm. So if you guys look, 
um, you'll see that we prioritize formation and we prioritize tempo. Okay. So finding that right speed, I don't tell you do 10 of them. I say, go at your pace, yep. but find a tempo that works for you. All right, you're awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much, we appreciate it. Smart and beautiful. Aww. For more information on Dr. Robin B and her fitness and holistic wellness tips, you can follow her on social media. She's also on the Ladder app, as she mentioned, and her podcast is called The Dose yeah. Show, which is such a cool name. Thank you. Thank you so much, yeah. Lou. All right.